Now the strategies that we've taken on are what I included in the title um, of this talk, which um, historically we've said, all right, we need to armor um, the shoreline and protect our investments. Here's just a few examples. Building a seawall to protect homes that you know, got probably built a little too close to the ocean in the first place. <laughs> A little more evolved thinking is on this idea of adapting, um, working with nature, soft engineering. Um, this is a, in Detroit, and it's an ecological restoration project. It's, it's beautiful. It's promoting biodiversity. But it's also um, a means to absorb stormwater. And when the, the Detroit River um, increases, then the water can go into this wetland and be captured through these natural systems. This is sort of humans working with nature versus humans fighting with nature. Now, the classic approach to adaptation you know, is this. Just put the houses on stilts <laughs> yeah. and let the water go underneath. And uh, again, you know, my background is urban planning, urban design, and we talk a lot about streetscapes and what it's like to walk down the sidewalk and experience things in the street. And this doesn't create a particularly compelling streetscape. It makes it, um, and then, of course, if things get too bad, you just have to retreat. And this is in uh, Boston Harbor, and this uh, little island where the home was built just gradually disappeared. Sea level has risen you know, six inches or so all across the East Coast over the last 100 years, and um, it kind of gradually just whittled away at this piece of land, and the, the pelicans took over, and the people had to find somewhere else to live. 